As I stand before you now, 17 people die in New York City from coronavirus every hour. It comes up to 84 people a day. A week ago, New Yorkers were dying at the rate of one person per hour. By next week, it will be more. Maybe 30 people will be dying every hour. Unless fortune smiles at Nigeria, big cities in Nigeria are on track to experience this kind of green occurrence. All over the world, leaders of various countries have realized that it is not business as usual. They have stepped up their games. Some have declared the virus an invisible enemy and as such declared a war against it. Some presidents are operating as war presidents. They are reassuring their citizens that all will be well. They are pulling all stops, reinventing themselves, stepping out of their comfort zones to make sure that their people are not only protected from the virus, but also from the fears and the anxieties surrounding the situation. They are constantly giving their people hope. In Nigeria, the federal government led by President Muhammadu Buhari is still stuck in the first gear. His response to the coronavirus is still the same lazy and lackluster leadership that Buhari has given Nigeria in the last five years. Nigerians had to scream and scream before the president released a recorded video where he talked about coronavirus for a few minutes. And since then, he had gone back into hibernation. The same with his vice president. Meanwhile, stories of people around his government and outside the government testing positive for coronavirus abound. There is anxiety in the nation and confusion. The agency of the government in charge of handling the matter, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, is doing their bit. But the full power and presence of the presidency is missing. Why is that? It's because Nigerians have mastered the act of inventing excuses to explain their leaders' poor performances. Nigerians do not seem to understand this. No expectations breed no performances. Some of us may want to wallow in low expectations, but I believe the majority of Nigerians want to be where our mates, South Korea and Singapore, are. They did not get there by worshipping values that enable low expectations. Nigerian house is about to go on full-fledged fire. It is simmering now. What should you want the head of your household to be doing when your house is on fire? That's exactly what Buhari should be doing now. But he's not. And some Nigerians are busy making excuses for him. Do you remember how he campaigned for election in 2005 and re-election in 2019? How he did not leave it for Lai Mohammed or Femi Adeshina to campaign for him? How he did not sit in Asurok picking his state and issuing press releases to win the election. Yeah, that should be his approach to his job in this time of crisis. One of the excuses that enable us of Buhari's lazy and lackluster attitude to leadership have made is that those leaders who speak to their citizens have not made coronavirus any better for their people. Some even point at President Trump and argue that Trump had made things worse with the misinformation he shares. Buhari has an option not to mislead people like Trump. But that role of reassuring Nigerians is one that is left for him to fulfill. Transparency, that ability to see both the good and the bad, makes it possible for a nation like America to know exactly what is happening and to correct things that are not going well. In the dark, like the darkness that Nigeria wallows in, you cannot achieve that. And guess what? Trump's approval rating 
is going up despite the mess that he's making. Americans, even those who do not like him, appreciate his effort. He's trying. He's waking up. He's putting up appearance. That is what worried citizens are asking from their leaders in difficult times like this. Nigerians, we appreciate Buhari's efforts, even if he cannot pronounce coronavirus. Because Buhari has decided to go a war or to periodically show up like a comet and wave at Nigerians, he has created a vacuum. And because nature does not allow a vacuum, Nigerians have squandered valuable time filling in the vacuum Buhari created instead of focusing on the matter at hand. If Buhari were doing his job, like other responsible leaders around the world, Nigerians wouldn't be discussing this narrative and that narrative surrounding his disappearing acts. Nigerians would have been talking about how things are working or not working. He who creates a vacuum is responsible for what people invented to fill that vacuum. The people at the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, I'm sure are trying. At least they are putting up appearances. But I know of cases of high-risk people with symptoms who have been trying to reach them to be tested without success. It is a common problem across the world. But NCDC won't do better if we give them a pass. It is the same with Buhari. If Buhari, for whatever reason, cannot do the job of keeping Nigerians updated, he should delegate the tax to another elected official. If he had delegated the tax of briefing Nigerians to the vice president, I'm sure Professor Shibajo would have done it daily, even from isolation. Buhari cannot be a dog in the manger. Not now, and not these days. Being president is not about traveling around the world and shaking hands with world leaders. It is about reassuring the people who elected you, especially in trying times. This is not the time when Nigerians should allow their leaders to play mini gods. Nigerians should forget those who tell them that they elected a mini god who chooses when he wants to speak to the people he was elected to serve. If there is a time Nigerians must define the kind of leadership they want, it is now. Events in the last 48 hours have shown that Nigerians can smoke Buhari out. Nigerians, if you keep the heat on, you may actually get him to speak to the people he was elected to serve. Here is a sad conclusion. Buhari will have been a great president of Nigeria Republic or Benin Republic. But Nigeria is just above its level. Nigerians are just too hungry for advancement and too sophisticated for Buhari's 18th century primitive impulses. Nigerians must stop underestimating what they can accomplish if they have high expectations and demand more than mediocre performances from their elected leaders. Just one percent, two million, of conscious Nigerians are enough to force a change. You cannot dream of joining the League of Advanced Nations while making mockery of universally acknowledged best practices. Those who are enabling Buhari to continue with his lazy and lackluster attitude towards leadership should be ready to be counted as accomplices if and when coronavirus causes wreckage in Nigeria. More importantly, if we do not hold Buhari accountable because we like him or because he's our own, how are we going to have the moral authority to hold the next person coming after him accountable? What is at stake at the lives of millions of our people? It is not a time to respect elders and grumble in the privacy of our rooms. People who know Buhari well, in private, they describe him in very plain terms, honest, humorous, and lazy. Mr. President, this is not a time to be lazy. The lives of millions of our people 
are in your hands. Please, don't screw it up. Thank you. Hello! If you live in the UK, or the US, or in Canada, or in Italy, or in Ireland, or Spain, ah, and you send money to Nigeria, or to Ghana, or to Kenya, or Tanzania, or even Uganda, this is your lucky day. Download SendWave and use it to send money home. Join hundreds of thousands of others who are already using SendWave. SendWave is safe, secure, reliable, fast, and more importantly, it is free. Absolutely no fees. You know, for your first transaction, use the promo code DOCTOR and SendWave will add $5 or 5 euros or 5 pounds to the money that you are sending home. Dash, just because you know me. Eh? Dr. Damages, what are you waiting for? Go and download it from your app store. Thank you.